dalam tiga kali lipat Untuk maklumat semua Pasukan ini telah memakai sekolah dalam pertandingan misi kemarin Anjuran Universiti Sultan Azran Shah dan Kementerian Sains, Teknologi dan Inovasi Marilah sama-sama kita saksikan di persidangan
Now, let me tell you the details about the design of our rover. For your information, the rover that we have designed is based on several animals' concepts, which are spider, penguin, and tortoise. For instance, this rover has eight multifunctional titanium legs, which are suitable for rock interfaces. Furthermore, this rover has an adjustable shield, like a tortoise, which acts as a safety feature. And this rover also has the ability to glide on icy surfaces like a penguin. Now let's take a look at the size of the rover. The rover is approximately 3.7 meters long, not including the rover layout, 3.4 meters wide, and 2.1 meters tall. The approximate size of this rover is larger than the size of a car. The optimum size of the rover ensures the movement of the rover is not affected by the rover's surface of mass. Now, let me see the functions of the rover. This rover is used as an initiative to detect signs of life on Mars and to obtain samples of Mars such as rock and soil samples. These samples will then be kept in a storage box that is built in the rover's body.
the rover. First, the front hazard camera. Every Mars exploration rover has four hazard avoidance cameras or headsets. Two at the front of the rover's body and two at the back. These headsets are used to capture images of the Mars landscape which help the rover to avoid obstacles and navigate itself on Mars. This has just had two components, which are a detector head and an electronic box. Now, the brain of the rover. The brain of the rover is built into the rover's body. This rover has two computer brains. If one of the brains has malfunction, the other brain will be activated to take over and to continue the rover's mission. The brain is used for communication and control the condition such as the temperature of the rover's body to ensure that it will be able to last longer on us. Next, the navigation camera. The navigation camera is used to navigate and identify the rover's position. This camera will capture images of the landscape of Mars and compare it to the Mars map in order to give information on the actual position of the the team on Earth will then send information on where they want the rover to move next on Mars. Now we'll take a look at our journey to success.